Kevin Hart if you're not gonna, you're not gonna plug your boys. Absolutely. Like, that's what put, plug you know, so in. funny. I had Naeem on here, and I asked him about how does he feel about Kevin not putting him in movies. Oh, uh, because <laughs> I told him I'm like. <laughs> Fuck it. The people want to know. God damn it. Not my ass. Shit. That's what I'm here for. Fuck it. <laughs> ain't no brown here pussy foot. Ain't no pussy foot around here. I did pussy foot around the question though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, how do I ask this without him ending the call? But <laughs> but on the screen. But, ba but basically, basically he was saying how he feel like, you know, they got the radio show. Kevin right. put him doing stand up. Um, he done took him on tour. He was like, he he's done enough for all of us, you know. Right. And he's actually proud of himself that he has a new show with Tyler Perry called Assistant Living. That's about to come. That's that's oh. out. And um, he he's he he's proud of himself that he was able to accomplish that because he did it on his own, you know. Because he don't. And he was just saying, you damned if you do, if you, you damned if you don't. You know, because people are like, man, why Kevin don't put you in stuff? But at the same time, if Kevin was to put him in stuff, well, you only own because Kevin put you on. You see? Hey, and man, I, man. I respected that that answer a thousand a thousand percent. But I, I did ask the question because I I, I do the same thing with tour. You know, I, I put uh Reggie. I'm gonna talk to this wall. I put uh Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I know you're plugging in your phone. <laughs> I'm talking to this wall real quick. That's the that's the that's the a hole. I be talking. You see how it come? You see how it, it sneak out every now and again, y'all. Um, but Reggie, um, I, I got Reggie on Rush Hour. You know what I'm saying? He got a he had a little small role one episode. Oh, that's dope. See and, that's but see, and not to cut you off, but I know that that felt good for you to be like yo. Whatever, whatever way you was able to influence that situation, that's that's what it's about. It's about I mean, you. Even even <laughs> even my my assistant Lee, that's that's my, I've known him since he was in eighth grade. You see what I'm saying? Oh, we, wow. we we go way. That's my that's one of my best friends. I consider him a brother. But to even to provide him an opportunity to make <laughs> money, um, and be a part of a job where he don't have to worry about having some supervisor or employer who at wow. the end of the day don't have his best interest or don't have love for him. You see what mm. I'm saying? So that makes me happy to be able to even do that. You Absolutely. Where do you feel like, or what struggles do you feel like you may be facing or, or maybe not when it comes other than COVID when it comes to your acting and stand up? Like, is it hard for you to get dates right now? Not even before COVID was it hard for you to get dates? <laughs> And then with auditions, are you still auditioning? Are you turning down certain auditions? Like where you feel like you're at right now? I got uh, sure. I got to audition. When we get off the when we get off the phone, I got to read read some stuff. All right, you I'm know? about to call my agent and fire them motherfuckers too, cause I have nothing. No one's called me, <laughs> and they'll blame it on COVID. Everyone's um, fired. <laughs> I'm if, listening. If, if, if this helps you fire them more, I, this is my second one. I did one last week. No, no, what the? F that's it. I'm out now. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. No, no. Listen, get out of here. No, you know what? I, I think as far as I've been seeing cats, um, landing some stuff. Man, I mean, as far as um the comedy thing. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I know that LA is on a shutdown, but I really don't. Since this whole pandemic thing. I'm in a different space, bro. I, like, I don't know if I'm going to ever really feel that comfortable in public like that. I don't know, man. I, you know, as far as stand-up, I am ready to get back. I do a Zoom I do a Zoom comedy show tomorrow. And I'm be honest with you, I, I'm not into the Zoom. I, well, I don't know yet. I, I, haven't done, I haven't done any. I haven't done any. Dude. The first one I did, I did one for the troops, or whatever. And I made shout out to the troops and everybody who's, who fight for our freedoms. Thank you. At the Lab Factory. When I tell you, nigga. It's wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, let me take this back. Thank you for your service. I said thank you like I was in the military. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am not in the military. I'm a bitch. 
<laughs> I'm too much of a bitch to put my life on the line. So thank you for your service because I appreciate you being uh, very co uh, courageous. And thank you for your service. All right. <laughs> I'm listening. Nigga, I did a, I did a joint. It's not, you know, like, dude, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I haven't figured it out yet because I know that Takara and a couple other cats did some Zoom situations. I'm I want an audience, nigga. That, that it's not. I did I did jump for the lab factory because I, I understand for the troops, whatever. But nigga, you just talk. You just talking. It's just it's not the same. I'm ready to get in front of a front in front of people, and so now I do one tomorrow because I hadn't done one. So I was like, all right. It basically, and he was like, what, what do you got to lose? I was like, all right, bet. Let me just t let me just talk it out. And I'm, I'm going to simply just do that and just go through my stories. I'm not worrying about no laughs, none of that stuff. You got you to do that in crowd, that in crowd comedy show that Tone be doing. Tone and James Davis, you seen that? They have like a, a 360 LED screen or something. And so That's advanced. I don't know what. How do niggas set that up? But that is cold blooded, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's some studio that they go to, but basically it's like this. So you perform, but you actually hear, you see the people and you can hear their laughter. So so it's not just like you don't hear their response. Um, right. But you should you should probably hit up James or James Davis Atone about that. Uh, <clears throat> that's probably gonna be the thing. Um, right now, it's just uh, again it, this whole process has been the pandemic has just shut. It's been it's been weird, but. I, I realized that um, that I, I, I have been that a lot of things been coming to me, so I've been making my little my little notes in my phone, and I'm ready. I'm ready to hit the stage, bro. At the end of the day, what you uh, did you what you've been auditioning for, so I can uh, ask my agent. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I did. I did. Um, what have you been auditioning for, though? Because, I, I mean, I honestly, literally, I'm not even going to audition anyways, but, you know. It's slow. So you got to feel weird. It, it definitely it, it definitely is slow, slow, slow. And Did you audition for Coming to America, too? I was talking to um, Tone about I it. Did, I, did, I, did. I didn't I did, audition I, for that either. I didn't audition for that. Um, I haven't auditioned for sure, I don't know nothing about that. I did, because, well, t technically... My audition is a little slow because I'm on. I'm technically I'm on another project. Oh, okay. Congrats so, on that. Thanks, man. So we we actually we actually filmed one episode and then and and then everything got shut down. Uh, so is it, is it a show that's already on, or is it a pilot? I mean, doing, it you picked up already. I'm doing um Power Book Three. Woo! Use. Absolutely.